In the not so distant future, in the aftermath of COVID and the housing bubble, home prices have plummeted, triggering mass foreclosures as homeowners walked away from their homes. Even investors have all but stopped purchasing starter homes, and home ownership like doesn't even sound like a good idea anymore. Wait, what? Unfortunately, for many potential home buyers, this foreclosure crisis and housing market crash is a complete fantasy. But as long as we're on the subject, there is a housing crisis I'm going to talk about, and spoiler alert, it's not a bunch of affordable homes coming on to the market that you can buy at a discount. Believe me, I get it. I'm a home buyer right now too, and it's super frustrating that inventory is really low, affordability is super low, and every house you look at has multiple offers on it. So it's no wonder that anyone who's been priced out of this market or anyone who feels like they've missed their chance to become a homeowner is hoping and praying for a housing crash so they can buy. But don't you see, it's kind of oxymoronic. Who are you calling a psycho? Or is it ironic? I, I don't know. I'm I'm not a poet. Will there be foreclosures and price declines in some areas? Yes. This market is hyper local and some prices, especially out west and in Sunbelt states have already seen price declines. And of course, foreclosure rates were at all time lows throughout the pandemic. So of course we'll see an uptick in foreclosures and foreclosures on a percentage basis will sound much worse than they are because the numbers are so low. We probably will go into a recession, but the amount of people that lose their jobs are forced to sell or foreclose will not be enough to significantly affect the housing supply. Compared to 2008, there's now about 3 million fewer homes for sale and 30 million more people in the market to buy. Really simple supply and demand, you do the math. But somehow the media and YouTube experts are predicting the end of the world, if not a massive market crash. Is it just me or does the YouTube algorithm put all of the negative housing market prediction videos on my suggested video feed? There are absolutely ridiculous predictions about the catastrophe that's going to play out from these self-proclaimed gurus out there. And it sounds plausible, but the probability of a housing crash like 2008, 2009 is really low for so many reasons. Now, we don't have time to go into all of that, but I'm very interested to know what you think. Please put those in the comments and let me know your thoughts. But going back to the actual housing crisis, we are in a crisis and that's the affordability crisis. There is a severe shortage of housing inventory out there for three big reasons. First, institutional investors have been buying massive amounts of entry-level single-family homes for the last 10 years. Second, home builders have not been keeping up with demand because of the financial risks of building. And third, labor, land, and material costs make it virtually impossible to build any new affordable homes. All of that combined with stagnant wage growth, high rates, and high home prices make home affordability the lowest it's been in at least the last two decades. However, there is hope. It's always darkest before the dawn, right? And real estate is cyclical, so we know this won't last forever. We've already seen more and more housing units come onto the market, specifically rental housing units. That has already started to bring down rental rates, and that will continue. And believe it or not, housing inventory on a national level has started to trend upwards as well. Material costs like lumber have come back down to reality. In addition, supply chain issues for other materials like windows and appliances and other things we were waiting months for during COVID have been improving for home builders. Here's a big bonus for a lot of us, which is high rates and prices have pushed many investors out of the market as well, Big and small investors alike aren't snatching up as many single family homes as they used to be because it doesn't make a lot of sense from an investment standpoint. I know that in my market, the Minneapolis St. Paul Twin Cities area, we've seen rental rates come down in the last year or so, and that makes the return for investors a lot lower than it used to be, especially when you can park your money in a savings account earning 4% instead. Many of you who know me or follow my channel know that this is not a fear-based channel. 
a lot of the news and other YouTube channels out there try to make current events sound very scary because that gets views. Big media companies have known this for a long time. To some extent, these housing market crash predictions sound plausible because we have this impression that these housing market crashes happen on a regular basis because of the last housing market crash in 2008, 2009, but that does not happen regularly. In fact, that financial crisis was kind of a once in a lifetime event. And at the time, you were probably legitimately worried about losing your job. It was a pretty scary time for a lot of people and buying a home wouldn't have been at the top of your list of risks to take. In fact, had you been so bold as to purchase a home during the financial crisis, you had a really tough time of getting financing from banks back then, considering those of us in the financial industry were watching banks fail on a daily basis on Implodometer, which is a website that is still around today. And what, we've had three banks fail recently? Big deal. Point being, if we actually did get into a situation where there were mass foreclosures, home prices tanked, and unemployment shot up to 10%, we'd have a really big problem, and it wouldn't be a great time for a lot of people, including yourselves, and you might not actually be a buyer at that point. Regardless, listening to the doomsdayers out there doesn't help you get closer to home ownership if that's your goal. There are ways to take advantage of this market depending on where you are. If prices are falling in your market, you should welcome those lower prices and buy if it makes sense. I just made a video about a zero down FHA program, which you can check out here. This is one example of new programs that have come out recently to help buyers get into homes, even in this crazy market. And your state's housing finance agency has down payment assistance programs that you might not even know about. So if you're interested in finding out what those are, you can contact me and I'd be happy to help show you what's available in your state.